My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable two-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinners using everyday ingredients. So for dinner tonight, Howard grilled some pork steaks that I had in my freezer, and here they are. And they're pretty big, so we're actually splitting them. Um, so this is our dinner. We've got pork steaks, and then on the side, for the sides, I should say, I made this pastaroni, which I also had in my pantry. And then I had some fresh Brussels sprouts. So Howard did, um, grilled those for us as well, threw them on the grill. And this is a seasoning that I used for the um, Brussels sprouts. And I just um, tossed them in some olive oil as well. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having shrimp. I am going to be using this packet of seasoning that I have used before, Howard and I really liked it. I found this at Walmart and I think it's like $1.33. It's in the ethnic section and it says Cajun shrimp, but Howard and I really think that this kind of tastes more like jerk seasoning. It is very good. So I'm just following the instructions on the back of the package. I've got one pound of shrimp that I've cleaned and drained, and then it calls for onions. I'm using frozen onions because that's what I had. Um, and then I'm adding in the seasoning package. That is Harrison. And then it calls for two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. The recipe also calls for onions. I'm sorry, lemons, but Howard is not a huge fan of lemons, so I'm not gonna add them. I'm just gonna give this a stir. And now I'm just gonna move over to the stove. Okay, I've got my butter melted in the skillet. The instructions actually said to add your shrimp to the skillet and then add butter pats on top, but I just decided to melt my butter. And now I'm just gonna let all of this cook down. Okay, so here's our dinner. I decided to add in some green onions. I felt like it needed a little bit of color. And then I'm serving it over some jasmine rice. And then I'm also serving some of this um, cruciferous crunch mix that I picked up on a recent Trader Joe's haul. Um, and I just sauteed it with a little bit of grapeseed oil. And then I used this to season it with. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, I am making my version of a patty melt. So I did a haul a while back ago. I went to Costco and I bought these for the first time because they had them out at sam as samples and I thought they were really, really good. So um, this is what the box looks like. You get 12 in a package. And like I said, they are fully cooked. I'm getting ready to open these up for the first time. I've got some oil and onions going in here, and then I'm getting ready to add in my patties. And then I've got some bacon that's ready to go. I've got some sharp cheddar cheese, and then I've got some white bread. So I'm gonna just grill these up once my patties are done. Okay, so here's dinner. Here is my patty melt. All I have on there are the onions, cheese, and bacon. Serving it with a side of cheesy puffs. And I actually got these from um, Bucky's, which is a convenience store. And um, I got the jalapeno puffs. And then this is Howard's plate. He does not like his sandwiches grilled, but he added on avocado. He didn't, he didn't add any condiments this time, which I'm surprised. And he's having some cheese puffs too. This is actually a pretty good size bag and we just split it. And then I forgot to show you all on the burgers, what's in the burgers. I normally don't buy these pre-made burgers because they have a lot of um, like additives and things in there. Um, but these, as you can see, just beef, water, and spices. And like I said, they are very, very good. Let me try to get in so you can see them. They're really good and juicy. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So I am trying a new recipe for dinner tonight. It is called one pot taco spaghetti. So in my skillet here, I have browned up one pound of lean ground beef along with some onions and garlic. And I just added in some water and I'm adding in taco seasoning right now. Of course, I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. 
And now I'm going to add in some diced tomatoes. And I'm just gonna stir it all up until they're combined, until everything is combined. And then I'm going to add in my spaghetti noodles. So there it is, that's all stirred up. And let me add in my spaghetti noodles. So it says you're supposed to add them in and then just make sure, uh-oh, <laughs> that they're covered up by the liquid. I may have to break these in half. Let me see here. I thought this pan was big enough. Maybe not. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna have to work them in. It looks like they are gonna fit. I'm gonna work them in and then you're just supposed to cover it and then let these cook for, let it cook for about 15 to 20 minutes, it says. Okay, so I managed to stick all of my spaghetti noodles down in there. My skillet is an 11 inch skillet. I would probably use a larger skillet next time. If you have an 11 inch skillet or smaller, I would definitely break the pasta in half. Um, but it says to bring it to a boil, so it's just now starting to boil. And then it says to cover it with the lid and then cook it for 20 minutes. And then once it's done, I'm supposed to add on some cheese and then cover it and then let the cheese melt. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes and the noodles are cooked and I tasted it. I feel like it's a little bit bland. It was a little bit bland. So I added in some of this um, chicken bouillon because when I originally read the directions, it said to add in two cups of water and I thought, man, that's gonna be kind of bland. Maybe it should, maybe I should add some, some uh, chicken broth or beef broth and I didn't. Um, so it is a little bland, just be aware, even though there's taco seasoning in it, I think that the water kind of watered it down. So now I'm just adding in cheese. It calls for cheddar cheese, but in my freezer, I have this bag of um, half used nacho taco blend, which is Monterey Jack and cheddar. So I decided to use that instead. So I'm just sprinkling it on top. My burner is off. I'm gonna cover it up and just let that cheese melt. Okay, so here is dinner and it is pretty good. I think next time I make it, I would probably make it with some low sodium chicken broth or beef broth just for more flavor. Um, I'm serving it with a side salad and I'm gonna be using this Olive Garden and Howard is going to be using Thousand Island. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, Howard and I decided to try this Vietnamese restaurant that is near our house. We both wanted to try it for a while and for whatever reason, we are just now trying it today. So Howard got a brisket cheesesteak. It's um, a banh mi sandwich and here it is. You can get a combo, but he just got the sandwich. And then I decided to try their Creek fried rice and it has bacon in it and shrimp. It has the cucumbers as you can see and then those are pickled carrots on top. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.